This is Evolution X as you can see on my hand and it is running on Redmi Note 10. So in this video we are going to see this custom ROM and I am going to say that it is perfect for customization, smoothness and best performance. So if you are new to my channel and watches re content related to these then you must subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video. So let's get started to the video. So guys first of all I will start from the about phone of the section first of all you can see that this is the evolution x version which is based on android 13 which is 7.6.1 adobo mojito unofficial version which equipped with the february 5th latest security update with the kernel version of west coast super fast as you can see that it is the built maintainer stages come out thanks to this command for maintaining this awesome custom room and now this is the ceiling status which is enforcing which is very much important for a custom room as you can know that now this is the overall look of the settings ui first of all i would like to talk about the smoothness of this custom room as you can see i uh, see that i am using this device as my personal daily driver and i haven't faced any type of lag so ever you can see that the opening closing animation of the application does not feel any laggy, laggy and jittery all things were feel super smooth and super cool you can see this at all now talking about these let us dive into the settings and first of all know what the customizations that we are getting in this custom room so first of all this is the evolution section here's the themes come on and here's the option of themes settings now you can select the themes vibrant options as you can use according to yours now this is the option of the dark theme and you can enable dark theme and you can see here's the custom themes option according to that you can enable your custom theme but i don't like the dark theme so i will gonna disable that and my battery usage does not consist of any always on display and dark theme now here's the some of the customization for the no notification as you all know that i'm not gonna do that detail every customization is working is there any bug i will tell you and this is the power menu option here you can enable according to your usage which type you want there is unlimited power menu titles as you can see that now this is the lock screen option you can get the udfs and this is not working edge light is there you can use that but i don't use that media cover art is also there you can enable here you can see that left shortcut and right shortcut in the lock screen as you can see that i have already customized these and this way are working as according to my usage now this is the option of animation there is a screen of animation which is crt as you can see that it works this doesn't have any sort of issues that you gonna see now this is the miscellaneous option comes on there is a game space if you use your games and watch uh, play games you can use add your games for here this is a smart pixel option but i don't tell to use this because it creates your display like such a bad and now this is the spoofing area here you get unlimited photo storage that is working and it is a higher fps unlock in games is also available and the netflix fps spoof sorry netflix hdr spoofing is working fine i have already checked that now this is all the thing usb configuration you can select according to you Ma manually you don't need to do a lot more times whenever you connect the usb cable through it now this is the so cpu info options that is no issues that it is working as you can see shape cpu info option is there and it is working so ever and it is giving the details so far now let us dive into the benchmark and every performance that we are getting in this custom room of the evolution x for this device redmi note 10 so let's get started with that part also so first of all i ran the 3d benchmark application on this device as you can see that here's the sum of the results these were run without any performance mode performance mode sorry performance profiles of the thermal profile and it give much more better scores in the slingshot extreme you can see that there is a 1450 score is there as you can see that and it performs damn good scores in the fps also it creates 49.30 fps which performs much more good results than ever i can see that easily tell that this is a slingshot extreme test as you can see the it's equipped with a 2298 score which is also good for the custom rooms in comparison with the MIUI it is better and if you just try the MIUI Mint uh, uh, last second last build it is much more better than that now this is the AccuBattery application I have checked all the through and you can see that this is my battery usage 
you can pause the video and see my battery usage i generally got the 8 hours of sot easily in my usage with the generally streaming of youtube and editing some videos and recording and i don't have any issues i generally use twitter and instagram few times so i don't have such issues and the battery charging is working fine the 33 watts charge battery flawlessly without any issues that i have mentioned now for those who are talking me about cpu throttling test so now this is the cpu throttling test when i first booted into this rom this is for 15 minutes as you can see that the max is 148 gips and the cpu throttle rate is for 84% and i have already talked about this this is a, what do you say geekbench results i am not happy with the multi core result as you can see that now those who are asking about the net, you can see that hdr capabilities is also working out there and this is the safety net status and it is passed so you are hurry to get run what do you say the uh, banking apps easily this is a cpu throttling test for 15 minutes as you can see that no cpu throttling detected but the max gips is very worst so that is not good and this is all for the what do you say benchmark performance of this room my charging and everything that i have covered so far is totally what do you say clear and cut no issues that i have faced so far now in my recommendation would i recommend this room yes i will going to totally recommend this room over spice os 6.4 it is much more better than that that it performs very much good of stability smoothness performance and battery in i can give it to 4.5 out of 5 for this custom room of this update so if you really did enjoy watching this video and love the content then please please subscribe without any hustle and also give a damn thumbs up to this video so i am arav signing you off we'll meet in the next video till then bye bye